I've got to be Golf. honest. Um, Golf. Who would win in a tear up? Who would win in a tear up? Oh, Jock. <laughs> Jock. Without a doubt, Jock. Without a doubt. I mean, it depends, though. It depends. But, um, but yeah, uh, I would say, um, yeah, I just hope that those two worlds of audience viewership collide. We will destroy more enemy airplanes on the ground than the RAF will destroy in the air. Let the games begin. Who dares wins, and we will continue to dare. What are the chances of survival? Ten. Percent. Hey! Welcome to the SAS. Sounds good. Hey, it's Jim Alexander with uh, Real Talker. Yeah, I'll get it one of these days. <laughs> What's going on, fellas? Good. How are you? All good, man. All good. Doing, doing well. I mean, I'm I'm hyped to talk to you because I'm a big fan of both of you. It's been a long time coming, so I guess I'm doing something in my career that I finally get to talk to both of you. <laughs> yeah, Jeez, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, I got to start out, man. Like, I just talked to to Connor too. How much fun did you guys have offset? Because, I mean, like, what we're watching on screen, it, it seems like you guys would be up to shenanigans and have a blast offset. Can you share anything that you guys done? Because I'm curious about the other aspects. That's another movie probably or show right there. Yeah, nothing that I'd leave its mark now. Do you know what I mean? We all had um, stuff to be getting up for in the morning. But, uh, mm. yeah, 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 I think. Because of the whole COVID of it all, we were bubbled in together um, for quite a long time. Uh, and there was a bar and there's a bit of pool happening, a bit of poker. Um, good bit of shenanigans. You you are right there, mate. <laughs> bit of karaoke, what have you. But yeah, nothing that would leave its mark now for too long. Yeah, Thank we are. Um... What did, what did leave its mark for me was England losing in the uh, European Championship final. We ah, that's that right. That in, one stuck. In, um, in Morocco. Uh, and a lot of Moroccans were supporting Italy, so we definitely felt isolated and ostracized. But it was, ah, so um, you guys were there during the Euros, huh? In Morocco watching yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got to... Um, there was some matches going on in the lead-up to that, so we all definitely got together watching all the football um, together. Which was uh, which was which definitely brought everyone together. But um, lots of just sort of games being invented just because we were just so um, we had a lot of downtime there, um, and because of COVID, no one could really sort of fly back and forth in and out. If you were out there, you were out there, mm-hmm. no matter how small or, or big your part was. Um, so so yeah, definite shenanigans without a doubt. Um, dune buggies in the deserts. Uh, snowboarding or whatever you know getting a snowboard on some of the desert um, on the dunes that was fun um and just yeah just um lots of activities i like that you see you guys made the best of your times there together so that that's cool it's probably bonded you even more and made it come that much more alive on screen too so it's, it's a good thing all around uh, Jack, you you played. I've seen a lot of your roles. Uh, you played soldiers before. What was this one like compared to some of the other work? Was it different, or it kind of felt natural for you going back into something kind of a comfort zone of playing a soldier? Um, tell me about that. Oh uh, yeah, I think um, it was just a total no brainer. Um, mm-hmm. Like uh, you know, I'd, I've never set out consciously and said, "Look, I just want to play soldiers all all my life, um, <laughs> all my working life." Uh, so, um, so yeah, this, this, this one came along and, you know, obviously I've been aware that it is an area that I've, I've been before, um, it was just too good to pass up on. Mm -hmm. And what you have with Paddy Main is like a real, a real kind of character study, um, that I, I think does separate it from anything I feel like I've done before, um. So yeah, I'm fascinated. I'm fascinated with Paddy May and I'm fascinated with this detachment and this story and all the characters within it. So um so it was a real buzz to be a part of. Alfie, I'm thinking when I watch stuff, my mind wanders. So I'm thinking there, 
what would great Mr. Greyjoy, in a sense, how would he do with the rogue squad here? And then the other way, I was thinking too, how would Jock do in the Game of Thrones world? Like, can you help me out here putting this together? <laughs> um, I mean, in terms of how Theon would fare in the desert, um, yeah, would they put I him mean, with the squad? Who would, who would, who would, uh, I don't really know how to answer that. Um, I've left that went in a fight. so long ago. And even in terms of Jock, you know, sort of I played this character like um, a year ago, a year and a half ago now. A year ago? A year ago, yeah, a year ago. Um, and so uh, in terms of those two worlds colliding, um, I I wouldn't quite know how to um, articulate that. I've got to be honest. Um, who would win in a tear-up? Who would win in a tear-up? Oh, Jock. <laughs> Jock, without a doubt, Jock, <laughs> without a doubt. I mean, it depends, though, it depends. But, um, but yeah, uh, I would say, um, yeah, I just hope that those two worlds of audience viewership collide. There you go. I think they will. I mean, <laughs> they follow you guys. But uh, you see, this is what happens. I mean, I watch something, I get into something, I see your guys' work previously, and I start thinking of crazy stuff like this. So uh, thanks for playing along, at least with that. No, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I mean, hey, you guys talked about football in here in England. I mean, we're right at the World Cup a week away. What do you guys feel about this? Like, do you think re England can redeem themselves or is the squad kind of uh, maybe uh, taking a back turn with some injuries? What are you feeling now? I think the squad's been announced. Um, I haven't really been following it too much, as much as I have done in previous World Cups. But um, but I um, I think the squad's been announced. Uh and yeah, apparently, according to Antonio Conte, Harry Kane's very, very tired. <laughs> well, hey, they're still playing Premier League games this weekend, which is crazy a week before the actual World Cup. Yeah. Uh, Jack, what, what are your thoughts? You think they have a chance to, to make another final run here? Uh, listen, I'm a proper part time England fan. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, my, my team are in League One, the third tier of English football. So I like my football to have a little bit of. Uh, <laughs> Uh, grubbiness about it. Uh, look, if if they do well enough, I might start showing an interest. But um, yeah, I'm a proper part timer when it comes to England, mate. I think that's a good a good outlook, man. You you know the disappointment's real. You know when when it, when it happens. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Listen, I, I I follow I follow a shit team week in week out. So you know what I mean. I don't need to be following too. Hey. I mean, it's only it's only become positive for Arsenal this season. I've been there yeah, with you a fly in it. Time, mate. I you're know it's it, it's a hey, relish in it, you know, Alfie. It doesn't come often, so exactly. <laughs> take it where you can. <laughs> hey, fellas, I had a great time chatting with you. I'm so glad I finally got to talk to you. Like I said, I've been a big fan of both of you, and you guys did a tremendous job on the show. So hopefully, there's more to this story and seeing you guys return together. Thanks a lot, mate. All the best. Yeah, thank hey, you. Take care, fellas.